Yo, what's up everyone, it's Riven, and welcome back into More Dots Gaming. Today, we are going over the rare name bosses that roam around in Division 2 Warlords of New York. There is a few of them, and by a few, I mean 22, and there are 10 locations that they could spawn. They can all drop some great gear, including the sought after Lady Death. There's a higher chance if this boss is a Riker. If you found this video helpful, yo, give it a thumbs up and share it out. It helps get the video out in front of others that may be looking for the same info as you. Also, if you enjoy the content, you'll drop a sub so you don't miss any of my videos I put out, including my live streams right here on YouTube. All right, let's jump right into this. So there are 22 rare name bosses that are going to be roaming the streets of New York. To note, they are rare, so you may not find them right away when you're out on the hunt. But these are their usual paths that they take, and make sure you're ready because they are around their lackeys, ready to put the hurt on you. These enemies have a wide loot table and are great for target finding since they are elite and have a higher chance at drops. You'll get god rolls, gear sets, and maybe an exotic. These enemies are also different types. You'll be finding snipers, healer, tanks, and some others, and they all have different aliases to go with their name. So I will go through those so you know who to look for. So far, I have fought and killed four of them, fought and died against five, and have come across but not fought seven. The bosses I have killed are their emperor, also known as Bogey, Justice, also known as Maddie Shady Benson. Judgment, Matt, also known as Bendy Benson. Matt Bendy Benson. And the Tower, Betsy. Bosses I have fought against and died embarrassingly. Uh, this one, these are the Magician, also known as Bates. The High Priestess, also known as Jones. The Empress, also known as Noble. The Heferant, also known as Pope. And the Chariot, also known as Atlas. And the ones I have yet to fight, I've seen them, are the Lovers, Adam and Eve. And I wish I actually ran over to do this one uh, because these guys can actually drop the uh, Lady Death. They're known as the Lovers, Adam and Eve. So you actually have two chances to get those um, Lady Death drops. So make sure you fight them and kill them. Next up is Strength, Justice, Temperance, also known as Angel, Sun, all known as Blink, Death, known as Grey, the Devil, known as Corwin, and Sistar, known as Ryder. There's a few others I have not seen yet. I don't know who they are at this point. Uh, as I find out more, I will list them out. I will update the description for you. So no luck on the exotics yet, but I have gotten some god rolls and banked them for later use. I've also gotten some good gear sets. But the biggest thing here about these bosses is the, is the respawn timer. These bosses seem to be on a respawn timer about 30 minutes. And if you die while fighting these bosses, it will reset the timer and you will need to wait that 30 minutes again before finding the next one. As mentioned, they are rare respawn, so even after 30 minutes, they may not be there. So just keep trying and eventually run across them. Sometimes it's just best to mess around doing activities, farming mats in the vicinity of where they might spawn, and you might just come across them. If it has been 30 minutes, you can fast travel to a safe haven or control point, and it could ha and it could actually spawn those bosses and one of the locations we're gonna go through. This is not an exact science, but something worth trying. I've had a bit of luck doing this. So let's take a look where they roam. These are the random spawns at 10 different locations. The purple icon means they are underground. Now this is an area where they can roam around, so make sure you check in the vicinity of where that icon is on the map, because they I've come across where they are nearby and not always on the spot where the icon is. So the locations, I will leave in the description, but you're going to find some of them at north of Broadway and the Civic Center. You're going to find them northeast of the City Hall Control Point on the highway near Avenue of the Finest in the Civic Center. And you're going to find them alley to the east of Henry Street in Two Bridges. You also can find them in an apartment complex to the southeast of a residential building control point in Two Bridges. East end of Catherine Street by the resource node in Two Bridges. You'll find them in Maiden Lane, in Maiden Lane and South Street in Financial District. And you'll also find them in Maiden Lane and William Street in Financial District. And you'll also find northwest of the Waterfront Control Point along South Street in the Final District. And you'll also find them along Broadway near Morris Street and Battery Park and southeast of the Boathouse Control Point in Battery Park. So the 10 locations that they can possibly spawn. So pop in there and do what you need to do to find them, drop them, and get your loot. Also, also, guys, if you kill these rare bosses, they will drop a snitch card. So if you are a completionist or you're just looking to add extra collections, head over to the location and start farming them. So they're pretty cool. I think you got these from the Division 2 as well, these cool little cards you can get. 
Uh, so just go ahead and keep farming, and they'll drop each time. They'll drop for you when they die. Uh, good stuff. So let me know who in the comments who you have fought and which ones so far were the toughest to fight for you. I hope you all found this use, uh, helpful or useful and added to your farming routine in the search of guide rolls, gears, and exotics. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, agents.